in my cold weather clothing, my coveralls, and um, a, an insulated jacket. Look at the temperature. Why is it so cold in the summertime? This is the temperature. I mean, it's gonna be really nice today, but I'm thinking, why is it so cold when we've had, like, just last week, almost 100 degrees? And now, um, we're down here to around 50 degrees. That's like 50 degree change from last week, uh, where I'm at. And look at this right here. The barometric pressures are probably around, um, I don't know, 30? and uh, the humidity is 80. It's so cold. Um, I was sitting out here in my robe, my house shoes, and I thought, you know what? I am, I am still cold. I'm still cold, so I just throw on my bib coveralls, you all. There's a lot of change that is occurring, and it's not just, you know, with our bodies. And Let me show you something. Let me do this. These, let me say something. So this little airplane right here, this is flying from the um, that area of the sky from west to east. There was another one just like it, but the look at the sky, my gosh, it was flying from the um, the west to the east, right over there around that thing. Now there was, I think, some blue in the sky. Hello and good morning. I haven't not stepped off here, but look at this. This is kind of weird looking. The sky, that is a mess. Oh my gosh, you all, that is an absolute mess up there. It wasn't like this maybe 20 minutes ago when I was, when I stepped out here, it wasn't like this uh, when I first came out here on the porch. Do you think that um, they're doing it to keep the temperatures down? Or is there something else up there, you all? That is, that's a big mess to be seen in the early morning. Let's go up here, you all. Hello, um, UBS, UES. Where's my, where's my tea? Oh, here's my tea. I'm gonna get my tea, you all. I'm gonna have a drink of tea because I didn't finish drinking it and it's cold, so I wanna get warm. <laughs> it's all right, good morning. So I, I do come in here and try to come on here and then I can form a good habit with it. Then you'll see me on here. So let's look at this. There's no blue skies, but there was yesterday. Let's see if I can walk right here. I wanna ask you all something too talking about, you know, the temperature is like 50 degrees less than it was last week. Have you noticed, I'm, I'm gonna to go to a different subject here, talking about deteriorating, feel like your body's deteriorating. Have you noticed that wood, the wood that you buy from the store, um, look at this. Have you noticed wood has not been lasting as long as it should also? Have you all noticed that? Because look at this. Um, Oh, I spilt my tea on my hand. You all, I should not try to do that because I wasn't very balanced. Let me wipe this tea off my hand. Yeah, that's not good. I'm trying to <laughs> balance my body out. But have you noticed that the wood is like deteriorating uh, much faster also than it should? See, look at that. It's, uh, and it could look very uh, strong when you buy it. It's supposed to be weather treated, but then it's not holding up to the elements that are out here. 444, four, four, I love it. 444, four, four, yes. Okay, I'm gonna pick my tea back up. So now look at this. See what happened to the one things? They're gone. Remember how we looked up here and now it's all smeary like that. So um, truly, um, what's what is going on? Good evening. So Dave, it's it's good that you can see me in the evening Yeah Warren, Ohio, that's wonderful. It's peace and love. I love it. Peace and love. That's right um, So it is code 
I can't sit out here in shorts. Look how fast this has changed. Strong winds at high altitude or something else spurring them along. Um, yeah. Northern Ireland. Hello there in Ireland. My toes are cold even in these tennis shoes. I really wonder if there's something up there that they're hiding. Look how these look like a, that right there in the center looks like something um, was catapulted there because it has the line behind it. And that thing right there too. What if there's something in that thing? Ooh, that looks like windows up there too. When I was sitting on the porch, I was sitting in the swing right here. Hello in Austria. I was sitting in the swing and I just sat here. I like to sit right here. And um, you just like to look right there through these trees, just like this. This is what I like to do. Just sit right here and look through the trees while I sit um, right here. You all, that looks like that looks like a, a virtual scene. It really does, doesn't it? If you were to um, look through a window at a screen and that's what you see when you're looking at it. Now, I really don't want to live in a virtual world, but there's nothing I can do about it. Hello there, Susan B. Honey. Hello in um, California. So um, I'm going to take a drink and I'm going to put this down. But I want to I want to be able to zoom up on the sky is what I want to do. I'll get a drink of it when I walk by it, you I will. So, um, <clears throat> it's, it's 50 degrees here is what it is. I think it got down mm, below 50 last night. And uh, last week it was 100. 100 degrees. See, these things right here. What if there, that is a an actual object the tip of it and that the trail that it leaves behind I don't know how the trail behind it got there I really don't but this sky it is um, that is that a curvature kind of a curvature where the Sun's at I'll tell you what technology technology is really it's nice to have the technology to share and stuff uh it was in the 90s last week yesterday morning need a hoodie to go and water the garden yeah i'm in my coveralls and um i'm glad we got a lot of water i am a lot of rain i mean that watered our garden But this is, this is, um, that's, this is a lot of fluctuation in temperature. Now look, the, the blue sky is coming back. What happens to this when it's up there in the sky like that, you all? Really, what happens to all of this when, um, like, if the sky turns completely blue, then what happened to all the white that was in the sky? Where did it go? Did it get, did it get absorbed? See, it looked like big old trails going across that sky. That bird is talking. Hello. Hello, my nose is even a little code too. Even the shade of blue, the sky is, seems different. It really does uh, seem different. Let's, let's walk back up here, you all. Um, I was talking about the coldness because the sky didn't look like that when I went in to get dressed. It, it was starting to have some clouds by it um, when the sun was coming up, but it was, there was still blue in the sky. And, um, grayish blue. Yeah, it is like a grayish blue. See, look at that.
Yeah, the, it, it, it is really nice, the green. Look at this right here, like archway thing is not moving. And look at this area right there, that darkness. This is um, the eastern sky. We'll walk back and forth because I want to see if it um, changes a little more. Hello uh, from Germany. Guten, guten Abend, guten Tag, a guten uh, Morgen. <laughs> I only knew a little bit of German, but I couldn't speak it that well. Yeah, my husband was a German linguist for a few years until, um, yeah, welcome, until his uh, career field ended and he changed into something different. Yeah. Like what causes these right here, really? What causes that? Because it looks like um, strings of stuff up there. It really does, like lots of strings. It looks like some kind of a movie up there in the sky and it looks kind of wild. It really does. If you're just tuning in, we're, I'm standing right here looking up. Um, the sky wasn't like this. And it's supposed to get only around 70 today, 70 degrees, I think, 71 maybe. It may not reach that where I'm at. It may not. Um, but my neck is still a little... <laughs> I wake up with my neck stiff still too, you all. And I thank you for all those comments in that video about are you feeling exhausted? Because entire families are waking up with their necks stiff and they're exhausted having to lay down and take naps. I've even noticed that with my daughter too. Uh, she would be laying down and taking a nap. I said, what's wrong? Are you okay? But now it's just now dawned on me. She's feeling it too, even though she doesn't complain. So um, something is, something's way off. It really is. It's way, way off. Okay, okay, I see a rainbow signature up here. So there is something up there in the sky. You can see where we at right there. There's like a slight tint of um, somebody beeping their horn, a slight tint in the sky. Where are we at? Of uh, Some kind of uh, different colors. See it right there? Right there, okay, there's something rising with the sun. You see it right here on the side, right there. Now don't you be doing my video. I'm gonna, I wanna tell them, don't you dare be cutting my feed like you've done before when I've had a good, um, Right here, you all, right there. So that would be perfectly on the sides. Is there like something very, very massive behind it? You see it right there? See, cause it's always when the sun is up in the sky, uh, when you do see it, there's one perfectly distanced from the center of the sun to each side over there. I don't know where that side is. Sometimes they don't show up at once. Yeah, they don't. Um, it's getting more prominent right there. But they've really, it, it, it amazes me how this sky gets plastered so fast, so fast. Um, I can't see behind the tree is what's happening. How much degrees there now? It's like 50 degrees. And I've, I've got my warm weather clothes on. I got my shorts underneath it. See, and there's that, there's that, there's an arch. There's like this, this like, you see this thing right here, it hasn't moved, but then you've got this right here to the side. If I could get around that tree up there uh, and see that sun, that would be kind of nice. Um, maybe if I, if I don't lose reception, it would be kind of nice. I guess it would be. Um, you're wearing your coat, Wendy. Um, yeah. We know that that sun is super bright. I'm trying to see what it's doing over there. 
I don't want to lose reception, you all. I really don't. I want to come down here on this end of this mulch right here. I'm walking down here. Okay, yeah, see, it's really bright. So, um, I probably went down around four feet from up there on my porch to see if we could see anything. There's, you think there's something above it that rises? There must be something above it as it rises because when it sets, they spray the sky before it gets over there because there's something at the top of it probably. It's, it's, I can't look at it with my bare eyes. Whatever it is, but there's that same arch right there. It is it is the weirdest weather making my nose cold. It is. Um, whoa, look at that. Let me shrink that down. So some of the skies are already getting a blue again, you all. Let me walk up here. Um, I did get that glucosamate or whatever it is that thing for your joints. I took one pill yesterday, not before I went, well, probably around supper time or something. I'm going to take another one uh, today after I wake up more for my joints because this is, yeah, our joints are affected and whatever's going on. See, now let's look. How do they make that happen? How, is there like, is there things in the sky that are mechanical or nano-like and they're programmed? Or is this like a sylph, a great big gigantic sylph um, making its presence known? It's, it's really pretty. It looks feathery. It looks real feathery. And then it's, it must be pretty light to be up there in the sky because it's not falling down from the ground. It must be, well, why you, well, that's me. <laughs> That, that crow flew over my head. Um, let's, let's walk back and forth. You all need to get another drink um, because um, it's normal weather now for you. Oh, it, it is not normal. It's just here. We've been having um, hot weather, very hot weather to where you go outside, you're sweating up a storm. It's been like um, high 80s and 90s. Oh, yeah, it's been hot because summer has officially started. But for this right here, for me to have to come in the house and put on my coveralls, and I'd love to have a fire in the wood stove, but I, I doubt if I would sit down. This is like fall weather or spring coming is what it's like. Fall or spring weather. So it's, um, it's not too normal. And I think when I was listening to the NOAA radio on my car, I thought about... Um, letting you hear what the car is saying about the climate. They even have climate data on the NOAA radio in my Subaru. And they were saying something about a temperature from like 1951. Okay, see, there's that time frame again. The 1950s, early 1950s, because um, it's like near 1947 and stuff where all this technology, these um, Dead Sea Scrolls and things started coming out. Uh, this knowledge was made known. See, it's this got an arch. You see that arch right there? And I don't think it's moved. You see that like curvature right there by that tree? How can it maintain its spot? And that sun is right there behind it. Um, and I'm sure this sky will turn up blue completely. Um, good morning and good morning. Yeah, good morning, Kelly. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't be out here in my shorts because it's too cold. I guess I could if um, I was wanting to do a lot of working. Well, see, now this has stretched out even further. It stretched its body out way up like that because I, I want to call it uh, some kind of something up there with a great big body. Um, cause it's really wispy. It's like airbrush. You know how they do the air spray, air painting, or something like that? That's what it reminds me of. We've got some blue skies. Now see, this right here is clearly 
the um, you can clearly see that it looks like a plane made that one in the center, that straight line. But these other ones, I don't know what makes them. Um, I really don't. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I don't know what makes them. I'm not going to hang my head up that high because it might make my neck hurt. Even though it's kind of good to stretch my neck. Um, yeah, grand rising, you all. This is actually good for me because I can, I can move around and get some walking done on my porch and it helps me wake up and gets my body moving, uh, gets my blood circulating. And I think it's probably good for my joints. Let's look over here now. That arch is still there, right there. I mean, you may not be able to see it. Can you see like an arch? It's like permanently affixed right there. It's like a curvature. A curvature of something there setting in the sky. I wish I could see this. Now there's another airplane running down that grid line right there. Where is it at? Let me see. You see it? They rarely go down that grid line. I wonder if it's a drone. Noah has been predicting the weather since biblical times. <gasps> Wow, see, you said the word Noah. It makes me think of Noah Ark, the Noah's Ark. And then they got the Noah Weather Radio. Wow. Yeah, good morning. You just got here. Um, um, it's, um, it's unusually cool for it being summertime is what I want to say. But if, if I could see beyond that tree, you all. I would be able to see um, what where that arch is coming from because it's clearly not centered with the sun. I hope a great big portal is not opened up and that's a great big portal uh, because portals could be like great big circles. Look at that. It's not moved. That, that plane is like... Um, I'm trying to see if I can see that plane on here. Because it's like a dot. It's went into the center of that area um yeah two coyotes run around staying in the traffic oh yeah i would not want to oh, see now look up here it, it made its way i guess over the house yesterday the skies were total blue and it was a nice day, it really was. But now we've got this with cooler temperatures. This with cooler temperatures. I like, I like putting the phone at a certain angle because it brings out the color more. That looks really like a piece of art. It really does, like a piece of artwork up there. See that arch down there by the tree? It's, a, it's permanent. It's like some kind of a structure there in the sky, and it's been there since the sun rose up. So, could this be all, is this energy flowing to that area, you think? Let me, let me flip this around to me. It's like airbrushing, and it looks like it's, um an angle yeah it really does you all let's walk over to the other side that arc has not moved no because we got to watch it I, I hope it's not a portal because if it's a portal and you, we already got all this other kind of stuff going on see i wonder where the plane is that created that where's the plane that created that the birds seem normal so that's kind of good. Oh, is that a rainbow ship? Oh my gosh, can you all see that? Right there. Okay, it's fading now. It's fading now. 
there's some kind of an energy in that. Look, 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 you can see it right here. There's some kind of an energy in that, you all. Look at that. Oh, wow, can you see the blue up here? I want to try to get it to where you can see it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah. Oh wow. This is, if this has got a great big curvature to it too. Well, I'm going to hold my hand here, you all. I really am. I'm going to hold my hand right here so you all can see that. Yeah. I know that this is lagging, you all, but look at this. Um, yeah. Wow. Right above my house. Yes, you all, look at that. It's the colors of the rainbow. Oh. And I'm gonna hold it here. Yes, the rainbow warriors. Wow, you all, we got it. Yes, we got it. We got it. We've got it. That's right. That's exactly right. Moving in the current. It looks like the, if the ships that I've taken pictures of, the rainbow ships, that's how massive they are in the sky like that. That's pretty massive. Wow. Yes, that's right. Totally. Oh my gosh. I'm glad we came out here and caught it. Right like that. You see the rest of the sky, it's uh, clearing up. They wanted to hide something. Let's put it right there. Uh -huh. It does kind of hurt my neck to look up, but I'm gonna leave it right there. Yes! <laughs> I get excited myself, I really do. All right, you all, it, it, it looks like it's kind of moving, or is it still staying in its shape? Look at that beautiful um, blue up there. I, I don't want to move from here because I'm right here at my porch. You can see this area, I'm at my porch and I'm, I'm doing that. Right here, it looks kind of um, round-like. Oh, let's see, there's another one of these planes flying over. Can I get it in here? I don't know where it's at. It's trying to fly, fly over. Oh my gosh. Oh. I, I can hold the phone there, but I can't look at it, y'all, because this hurts. My neck leaning my neck way up in the air because I'm looking, like, straight up at the sky. Because um, it's still there. Just think, it manifested. And um, what if these colors make it come out and that's, they want to be seen. And the only way they can be seen is if they flow in with this energy and uh, bring out the white so you can see them up there. What if that's it? Oh my gosh. Oh. It's okay, you all. Let's, let's walk over here to this side. That doesn't hurt my neck. Leaning my neck that far, you all. It really is. I mean, you know, if somebody tunes in, they're thinking, what is she doing showing that up there at the sky? Well, I was seeing a rainbow ship. It manifested up there. That's what I'm doing. It manifested up in the sky, and it really looked like we would have rainy weather. Where'd it go? Right there. It's like right up here, but it's almost faded away now. Um, look at that sky where that sun's at. 
Is that arch still there? Because we were so focused on that. Um, it's a big mess. We were so focused on that ship up there that um, I'm sure there's something right there in that spot too. We were so focused on that ship up there that we forgot to check the arch in the sky. Um, but that's okay. It's all right. It's really all right in the big scope of our life. Yeah. They want to come up to the humans. Who, 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 who? Oh, the animals are wanting to, they're hungry. Um, well, as long as we don't have um, humans, you know, turning like that, that wouldn't be very nice. It really wouldn't be. Kitty, honey, you want to go in? Does her want to go in the house, Mommy? Yes, her does. Somebody closed that door on you, kitty, honey. You got to go. Go on. You can go. Go on, kitty. Okay. There. Had to put my little kitty in the house. She's not little, but she's so precious. She really is. I was trying to brush a little hair clot. She had a hair tangle in her hair. On, she couldn't reach it and I was trying to brush it out last night with a comb You know how you have to go really slow to get a that little clump of fur off of them or your own hair a rat and Half of it, but then she did she was tired of it. Yeah, you had to be really careful, too Yeah uh, so Now it's like this Yes, that's right Susan honey. I love my little kitty She's a very, very peaceful, uh, peaceful spirit. Uh, she really is very gentle nature. Well, she lives around peaceful people, so uh, she would be gentle, gentle nature and not, uh, yeah. Um, okay, so um, that one area over there is gone, or it's still there and they just caked it plum full. Um, is what they've done. Let's see, they, they're still flying their planes up there. Um, there's no way, see this one's way up there. Um, there's no way that they can um, hide this stuff in the sky forever. They can't. If something's coming, and if something's meant to come, they can't hide it. it, it they're not going to be able to. Uh, chemicals, yeah, there's something up there. I bet I don't think it's all chemicals. I really don't. Um, because um, I've been outside when we've had, um, it was in the evening time when these dark, dark, wispy uh, looking things appeared in the sky and they had dark energy with them. I could feel the energy. It was very negative. I went back inside the building uh, when that happened. Look at these grapes, you all. They are going to taste delicious if the raccoons don't get them. Um, right there. They're not ripe yet. They're still hard, but I hope we get some grapes off of here. I really do. Um, Corbett County. Um, it's in New Mexico. Is it five? Did you see that flash that happened right there? It's five something uh, in New Mexico. Um, the weather machine and nano enable climate. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about the NOAA radio, how it said climate data for whatever, because uh, like, where are these coming from? Are there so many of them in the sky that I can't see them? Look how bright it is, you all. It's a good thing that tree's there because that sun would be quite blinded with the um, stuff. Are they gonna make the sky all blue now? They could, they really could make it blue. It's 55 degrees um, in Marine, um this morning. Uh, good morning, Jenny.
So I just uh, been out here. So the grapes down here too on the porch. These did better than the grape vines we had when we moved in here. They really do. Of course, they're up to the porch and no deer can get them and they can't really get fungus and stuff unless something happens and they do get the fungus. Um, 60 degrees in Chicago, the Windy City. Really, why is Chicago called the Windy City and why does it have to be windy in Chicago? Um, I heard that there was, or I read a long time ago that there was like another like harp thing in Chicago. Uh, in Illinois somewhere like what is that it's, it doesn't fit that spot right there because it's straight and these are like blotchy what's that um, yeah good morning 89 degrees in Phoenix I bet if you're in Phoenix uh, Tina honey you would love to exchange places especially if it gets 90 are a hundred and something in that oven-like heat. <laughs> yeah, uh, Wendy, you're in North Carolina. Uh, Colleen, Alabama. It would be 450. <sighs> they pulled 450 out of a out of a pen. Uh, and he never seen such a thing. You gotta try to get my pockets. My, you ever put your pants, your pants on, and your pockets get all? Um, you can't reach your hands in your pocket because they got all messed up. I'm trying to get my pockets straightened up because I was gonna put my hands in my pockets back there. Um, okay. So, are you talking? They did something to the pigs, and um, where you're at. Because I missed that part. Oh, it's a hog, a regular hog. Um, 75. If you're just tuning in, this is like very cool weather for us today. Now I'm having a hot flash. That worked up my energy and it gave me a hot flash. <laughs> I'm going to take my jacket off uh, for a moment. I am. Um, so... Um, the animals. Yeah, the animals are going wild. I'd really be disappointed um, if something happened to my coveralls and I, I couldn't, they disappeared and I didn't have them to put on anymore because I really love them. I wear these more than anything uh, in the cooler weathers all throughout it you got a loud mouth <laughs> that's not nice but they do they get very loud the blue jays do look at these squirrels they are going wild in this tree uh, you can't see them because they blend in so well it's a mulberry tree and um, there's one there you are so loud up there and now they're they're calling they're having their call yeah they're having it. Good day, uh, Cindy. Yeah. The, oh my gosh, the coyote. <gasps> wow. Lightning bugs. Yes. Wendy, that's what I've been noticing for the past while, too. As if I come out time and the lightning bugs are out. They're all in the trees. It looks so magical. It really does. It looks really pretty. I think this, this is really interesting because it is so pretty to see the lightning bugs because before we couldn't see them, but you're right. They're in the trees. Look at, let's look at that sky over there. See if we can see anything. I, what's that? It's sometimes, you know, if you look at the sky, you can see something in the crevices of the clouds in the dark areas. Um, yeah. The lightning bugs, yes, and they're beautiful. You know what I thought, looking at the lightning bugs, I thought, what if those are light beings or something? Since there's so many, what if they are like some kind of a 
Okay, now see the signature thing in the sky again right here. Let's see if I can pinpoint it. Can you see it? I gotta find it first though. Uh, it's right there. Can you see it right there? You can barely see it. It's still in the sky. Um, it rises with the sun right there. So it's evenly spaced wherever the sun's at and it's on its side. I'm, I'm not sure. There's something going on, you all. There really is, or they would not be doing all of this all of a sudden. It's still 50 degrees, and that barometric pressure has stayed the same. My battery's running low, you all. That means I'm not going to be on here much longer. I've ran my battery down because I've been on here for 40 minutes. That should not have went down that fast, but maybe the energy is taking it out. It could be. Let's look at this. That's okay. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye on the sky. If, if I ever see anything strange and I've got means to record it and come live, I'm going to stop everything I'm doing and I'm going to do it right then and there uh, to share it so it can be um, documented, even though it then it goes into a digital copy. Yeah. Yeah. Your to turquoise orb is um, there. Turquoise orb. These blue jays, they are really, they echo through the woods you are, they do. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, Cindy. I haven't read for it from a while. Every time I um, open it, it gets more fragile. Time, because it is an old Bible. Yeah, the Blue Jays are pretty, but sometimes if you want to sit outside with it being quiet, they're not going to let you because they're going to. Okay, let's do this. Because they're going to make it loud. Is what they're going to do. Right there. So where did where did it go right there? So really, what if? Well, we know that that's a solid circle. That the sun gets a great big massive ring around it at times, like a gigantic halo around it as it rises. It does. Um. Seventeen degrees Kim Trelling. Yeah. It's cold in the morning because you had rain a few days ago. Oh, I'm doing good. I really am. Uh, and I probably am. I'm going to get ready for you all. I am. I'm going to get started on my day, and you see they still got this wispiness going on with the clouds. But see, these are kind of, look how these look like that. Like they are like some type of a, I don't know, life form or something. It is like nonstop. Um, let me flip it around. Yeah. Um, thank you. So I am going to go, you all. So with that being said, thank you for coming on here this morning. And um, thank you, Susan, honey. So um, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, you all. Yeah, thank you all for coming on here. It's always good to um, have you all on here. So I'm not talking to myself. But if I, if I had to, I guess I would. And I wouldn't think anything else of it. Love you.